What's your name, man? What's your name? That was nice of you. I think I'm in Joe Cool's neck of the woods. Is there like a protest or something going on? I see the dump trucks everywhere. Huh? Turn your phone off. You can leave it on. Turn my phone off. Oh, I could turn it off and I could leave it on. You can leave it off if you want. Well, I'm gonna leave it on, and if you told me to shut it off, I wouldn't have anyway. Well, no, yeah, 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 yeah. So why don't you speak English? But you would have to solicit a trespass against me. Are you buying anything? I don't have to answer that question. Do you work here? Yeah. No, you don't. You work for me. And if I stand right there, then you have nothing to fucking say to me. Well, we can let the owner say that. Private property. We have an affidavit program. You can't trespass me unless they trespass me. We do. We have a program. So. Sign, What's it? Sign complaints already. Right? Show it to me. Show it to you? Yeah. I can show it to you as soon as you put your hands behind your back. Oh, you want to put me under arrest? Maybe. Or you that's, can just go on the side. That's what you need to do, man. Am I, uh... You should use your phone to look up as the protest is going on instead of just... Well, I thought I'd ask you guys, but no, you wanted to start shit. Use your phone to look it up. I figured I'd ask... Because you're, 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 you're here to, know you know, serve the public, yeah, right? Buddy. So I figured I'd ask you. I figured you a lot for order to get off the property unless you're going in to buy something. Under penalty of arrest? Yes. All right, so here's what I'll do. Under criminal trespass. Okay. Now I'm on public property. Okay, you want to do. Have a good day, boss. I'm gonna stay here with you now. Okay, that's fine. But well, you should look up the parades and stuff so you're not wasting your time. Well, no, I mean talking to you is wasting fucking time, right? What's that? Talking to you is wasting time. Look at this fucking idiot. Property, I'm, I'm not on the property. All right, guys. So we have people. Filming from a couple different places and tell him to shut up and not talk to me. You guys won't learn your lesson, so beat it. Look, he's gonna watch that little curb line, he's gonna lock me up. Right. Do you shut it off when you beat people? Nope. No, you leave it on when you beat people? Nope. Alright, I hear you, man. I'll At least you're beating that. people on film. I gave you a lot more order, boss. I don't care what you did. Gotta love Chicago. Did you see the video at the 17th Precinct? Nope. You didn't? No? What was it? Just, just take a look. It's got like 200,000 views. Do you know who Joe Cool is? Nope. Nope. Who's Joe Cool? I'm asking you if you know him. I don't. Who is he? Alright. You can't smoke by a bus stop, man. Is that a city ordinance? You can't smoke by a bus stop. Got you is that a, that's a law. And you know what, I'll just, I'll just put it out. Cause I'd rather just stay right here. You're giving me a lot of things to look up today. You also can't loiter by a CTA bus stop unless you're getting on the bus. Well, there's no bus here right now, so there's no way to determine that. Now, how many feet do I have to be within the bus stop to be loitering? You can't be loitering anywhere near it unless you're getting on the bus. Anywhere near it. Can you cite me how many feet so I know? Loitering at a bus stop. So, where do you want me to go? By the bus stop. Anywhere, but so you told me to come by the bus stop. So now I'm loitering by the bus stop. Yep. So I'll move away the from the bus stop. There you go. Much better view. What's your name? What's your name and badge number? What's your star number? My star number is 6457. What's your name? Officer Dole, 6457. Are you alright, man? For real? I am perfectly fine. Man. Do you need medical attention? You do? All right, we'll get you some, brother. Thank you. Go ahead and make the call for me. I appreciate it. I mean, they're right here, so I'll ask them to help you out. Have you, have some, you seem a little on edge. If something's going on, I do want to help you, man. All right. You just said you needed, you said you needed help. You said I needed medical help. I asked you if you did. You said yes. You said if I asked if I needed help. I hey, why don't I tell you a joke to lessen the stress? Nope, I don't need it. I got a pretty good one. Okay. Sure you don't want to hear it? Nope. Thank you. No Polish sandwich, Philly steak burger, or sub will be stolen from this establishment. There's plenty, plenty of backup. I've never eaten here in my life. Why don't you eat here, man? 
Is there a, uh, an investigation going on inside? No idea. So is there a reason just you guys are standing here? They don't know a lot of what's going on. Hot spot for what? So wait, if I want to go in there and buy something, I can walk in there. So I can't go in there and buy something because... So you saying I can't go in there and buy something? I can now. I can now. You could have before, but you weren't. You were bordering on their lot. No, I wasn't. I was asking you guys about a protest. What? I was asking you guys if there's a protest around here. That's what I was asking you. And you still get all wild with your mouth. I mean, I see a bunch of cops. I see dump trucks. And I and you're being an asshole. So that's usually what I see at a protest. That's not very nice to say, man. I mean, that's your feelings. But feelings don't trump rights. I, didn't call you anything. I don't really care what you call me. You feelings don't trump rights. Irrelevant. You guys get qualified immunity. Your feelings are regardless. You don't have, you don't have to be rude, man. I mean, it's not about being rude. Listen. You, you no, you, you. First of all, let me ask you a question. How many bad cops have you arrested? Did I, call you a bad I don't care what you fucking call me. I'll call you what I want. It's my right. Okay, but did I, call you a bad I don't care. Have you, nice. I don't care. If it hurts your feelings, you shouldn't have a gun and a badge. I don't, it's not my feelings. All right, did I hurt your feelings today? All right, you know what would be a good idea, honestly? I. Well, I don't need to be worried about my approach to you. I'm not here to serve you. You're well, here to I'm serve not, me. You've been mad since I got here. Huh? Can I, I let me give you a hint. When you don't say anything, it just makes everything go so much smoother, man. Cause I'm not going to keep talking to you if you're not saying anything. Okay. All right. So let's try that. No, no. you just can't keep your big mouth shut. Right. You're honest. I appreciate that. So, there you go. Good for you. He's honest. Can't fault him for being honest. Am I far enough from the bus stop to smoke now? I don't know. We'll see when a bus goes past. Well, I'll make a deal with you. When a bus goes by, I'll put it out. Okay. All right, cool. See, now we're... Now we're... But you can't, what if you can't smoke a cigarette, though? Well, that's, what, that that's what I... That's what I just said. No, you're not. I just asked you and you said yes. Okay. I'm confused. Would you, you make... You said am I far enough from the bus stop. I didn't know if you meant loitering or to smoke. Oh, to smoke. No, not far enough. Well, you can be 15 feet away. But Fif you're not. All right, so I'm gonna go to the bus stop and pace 15 feet out, so I know ex exactly. Right. So this is all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. About right here, 15 feet. I'm pretty good at the heel to toe. I had one of you guys give me a breathalyzer last night. That guy is wound up so tight. He needs a girlfriend. We need to get him a girlfriend. This is perfect. See, these guys are all right. They have nice haircuts. You can usually tell who's not an asshole by a nice haircut. I'm gonna bust up here. Serve and protect. Don't they issue you guys like new batons? Those look pretty old, man. Do they like phase them in and out every few years? That's only a year old? Holy shit. They still got like the blackjacks where I'm from, so I haven't seen one of those in forever.
This guy's a superstar today. Mm. This will make a great thumbnail. Hey, I'll donate 50 bucks to charity if you smile for the thumbnail. Excellent. Which charity do you choose? I like St. Jude. St. Jude, all right. He, he was cool, so I'm going to donate it to St. Jude right now. What's your name, man? What's your name? That was nice of you. People need to see more shit like that. You could take a page out of his book, man. I feel like now me and you have like a rapport. I feel like I'm Dale and you're the other stepbrother. I don't know who that is. You didn't see stepbrothers? No. Do you have fun? No. I didn't think so. That's all right. But you're honest, though. Uh -huh. Have you guys seen stepbrothers? Would you think he was Dale or the other one? He reminds me more of Dale. Not sure. I wouldn't want to put my balls on his drum set. That's for sure. All right, so now that we've, we've got a mutual understanding, the understanding being if I come close to you, I'm going to get arrested. So we can call it like a, a friend. A, we're frenemies now, right? I don't have anything against you, man. I never did. I'm just informing you of the law because you seem to be uh, ignorant of the law. So I'm informing you what the law is. Like well, you, you don't really know me, stop. so... You can't smoke near a bus stop. That's well, that's law. that's your law here. You law. assume I'm from here. It's not my law. Right? When you are in the city limits of Chicago... You're, you're supposed to explain to me, so... I did explain to you. Right? I told you to stay away from the bus stop when you're smoking. Right, but when you explain something, you don't threaten at the same time. You I'm just explain. So I'm you wanted to arrest me. I didn't... See. Yes, because it's an arrestable offense. Smoke near a bus stop? It can be, yes. That's a felony. Not every time you get arrested. You're not arrested. Listen, if you arrest me for smoking near a bus stop, then you're going to be the biggest asshole on television. I didn't say I was going to. I said I could. All right. Well, maybe we'll test. Maybe we'll test it. And you really think that I'm going to pay that ticket? That's that's irrelevant, man. I don't. You can do what you want. Do you have any? Uh, you have any uh, like family or friends in law enforcement? Yeah. Yeah. You ever do a ride along? Yeah. Yeah. You never saw the nice things the cops did? I have. Yeah. My issue, I don't have a problem. I'll take you on a ride along with me. You can see all the good stuff I do every day. When? Every day. And when can you do it? When can I do it? I mean, we gotta, we got to set that up with the department. I'm not sure. If you'll do that, listen, I'm, I'm fair, yeah. right? In my, in my assumption of people, I have just as many good videos of police interactions sure. as I do have bad, right? I think everyone's on edge right now because of what's going on. I'm not on edge. Sometimes, well, the citizens. I'm just informing you of what the laws are. I know they're different. Where are you from? Where are you from? New Jersey? I'm from Boston. Boston? So, probably different there. So you know. never see a police... So I, I just kind of took that as you... No. Like, just trying to fuck with me because I got a camera. No, negative. Right. You, you're allowed to film all you want. All right. I, that, that doesn't bother me at all. All right. That has zero relevance on me. That's why I said... See, I this is a much better many, conversation. Absolutely. But I'm informing you of the law. You see what I mean? Yeah. All right, and that's another thing we're not used to because where I'm from, you ask the cops to recite a law, they have no idea. Yeah. They don't know case law. And those are the biggest videos that I have out there. Is trying to inform police informing case law and the problem is that all these arrests are getting thrown out so you'll have a cop that doesn't know the law uh -huh. and one person will get out then they'll vacate all the arrests and well, the maybe, people that should be in jail are getting released well maybe that might not be that might be not be the cops not knowing the law that just might be the court system we're not the court system right the court system can throw out anything they want right i mean you've seen that we've all seen well that. if you feel like a law was definitely unconstitutional like say the chicago chicago put out a law saying that um, you know, filming is is an arrestable offense. Well, that can't be because that's against the Constitution. That's your First Amendment right. That's what I'm getting at. So that they could never even make that law. They would never get. Well, through. say it passed because okay. there is there is a law right now that, and correct me if I'm wrong. I did a little research on it in Chicago. It says if you film police, you could be arrested, and it's under voyeurism or something like that. Voyeurism? Something like that. It was like wiretapping or voyeurism. No, I I don't know. I never heard anything about that. Yeah, you they know haven't. What law just, that is. Um, hold on, I'll look it up.